Hey, Jen here. It's that time of year. It's getting close to the end of 2022. And what I'd like to encourage everybody to do is to name your year. Now, why do I say name your year? You don't actually have to name it. Um, but the upcoming year, it would be a really important thing to take some time to think about the upcoming year, to take some time to look back over 2022 and look at the things that went really, really well. All of the successes you had, the things that you're really proud of, jot all of those down on a sheet of paper, maybe in your journal, and you can journal about them. How did they make you feel? Were these things that were expected or unexpected? Really looking and diving into deeply what went well. But also take some time to look at what didn't go so well, because that's an important lesson there also. To take time to look through what were some of the challenges, some of the things that were upsetting, maybe some of the things that in the moment you thought were failures. What are things you can learn from each of those experiences? And then the last thing that I encourage people to do is after you've looked at all the things that went well, things that didn't go so well, is take some time to decide what lessons did you learn in 2022 that you want to take forward with you into 2023. Doesn't have to be a lot, could be some very simple things that you jot down, um, but that might help you in naming your new year. So what type of a theme do you want for 2023? Maybe there's a word you want to signify what you're going to do. Maybe it's growth, maybe it's health, maybe it's weight loss. Maybe it's massive business growth. Um, one year I picked a word. The year that I got divorced, I picked the word phoenix because I felt like I was a phoenix coming out of the fire, rebuilding. And so whatever the word is, then you can decide if you want to add something to that. Um, the year that I had the phoenix, I had a picture of the phoenix that I had around, which always reminded me of what my word was that year and really what I was excited about accomplishing. So Take some time to do this, look forward into the future, get some ideas down on paper. And if you take that time, when you start the new year, you'll be in front of the game. You will have already had some time to think through 2022, and you'll be ready to start running the race when we hit January 1st, if not a little bit before that. I'd love to hear any thoughts that you have. And if you have any questions about naming your year, I'd love to hear those as well.